suppose if I write something here suppose I I want the max from some of the list some list is there suppose so if I press enter so it is written giving me 36 so it will max function will return the maximum number from the given list and as per that you can define your if you can also find a min in the same way you give the list of numbers it will give the minimum number to you then and is one more important thing and suppose in our previous one of the previous exam uh, previous program suppose we if we see this program here if suppose here what happens if user gives capital xyz then also it don't uh, says that it is a correct password because it is not uh, case sensitive it is case sensitive suppose we have, uh, the case is that i want uh, whether user enters uh, xyz in small or in capital letters then also it should function so when you want to define two two conditions at that time you have to use and function so using and you can say that suppose password is equal to xyz should also work the same way then and i will be closing the and so the use of and is if both condition are true then only it will go to true statement if one of the condition is false then it will go to the false statement that means to go for this function to go to true st for going to true statement both conditions to should be true then only it will go to the true statement one of the okay both should not be true basically one of the okay that will be or if both okay I, I, here we have to use or basically because we want to check that one of the any one of them if any one of them is true then it should go to the true statement area so at that time we have to use or so to combine two statement we use the error if if right now if we use here so if you say if true enter password if i give small letters then also it is saying correct password you can enter and suppose if i give capital x y z then also it is saying correct password you can enter so in this way you can combine two st uh, conditions using or function and the use of or is such that ki it will work it will return true if any one condition is true then next we will see or okay or we have done already if three okay then and and is basically if both conditions are true then only it will return true so in this case suppose someone we want to allow inside whose age is greater than 5 and lesser than 20 so here we have used and because both conditions should be satisfied then only we want to allow someone to enter so in this way if two conditions are to be checked to be whether if we need that both conditions should be true then we have to use and the same way as we used or for any one conditions so in this way you can use the if statement so that's all in today's lectures thanks for joining